I want to start out by talking about the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, a big target today. Senator Menendez asking the question very bluntly, did you screw up? What's your take? Do you think that they screwed up? We don't know that yet. You know, I asked a similar question. I didn't ask it that way. I told him, could he relate the sequence of events, basically? In other words, walk us through what J.P. Morgan did or didn't do. It's very complicated. And, and the comptroller obviously was not prepared to do this today. They're doing an investigation. They're looking back to see what really went on uh, because there's a lot at stake. Were they managing risk or were they just, you know, rolling the dice? Uh, we don't know that yet, and w perhaps we will know in a couple of weeks. And I think we should get the comptroller of the currency, who is the primary regulator here of the J.P. Morgan Chase, uh, back to the committee because we would all like to know step by step what they did and what they didn't do. On the other hand, uh, we did find out today that uh, uh, although they lost a lot of money, I think two, million, two billion uh, is a lot of money. On the other hand, uh, the risk were large risk and large rewards if you do it. And I asked the question because I had heard from uh, some people that, that uh, J.P. Morgan had such capital that they could withstand up to $80 billion in losses and still be standing. And the, and the regulator said that's basically true. So I don't think the taxpayers have anything to worry about. Uh, that might be between the regulators and uh, uh, the stockholders of J.P. Morgan and so forth. But we'll find out more next week. What went on? Uh, is, is this everyday deal or is it something different? Uh, there was a lot of talk of capitalization today, and, and Senator Toomey, I know you agree with him on this, was, expressed some concern about a strict interpretation of the Volcker rule as a result of this, that that's going to reduce liquidity, that's, it's going to increase cost to banks. But is capitalization alone the answer? Well, I think capitalization, all the regulators basically said today, that is the number one thing that financial institutions need. Uh, basically, uh, no bank from what we heard today, has gone under, has been folded, closed up because of trades dealing with derivatives. Uh, they folded because of bad loans. And why did they fold in? Because they didn't have enough capital to cover, you know, the bad loans. So capital is important, number one. But good regulation and good management are also important. I want to switch gears a little bit and talk to you about our exposure to Europe. Um, Fed Governor Dan Tarullo today said he felt like the, there was an improved system of evaluating our exposure, that it used to be sort of ad hoc, that it's an improved system. How comfortable were you with that response? Well, I'm not comfortable with any of it yet because even the regulators in Europe, they don't know what's going to happen in Europe. There's only an uh, economy that's uh, of any size that's performing in Europe is the German economy. And uh, they work hard, they produce good things, and they save, and you know, they're disciplined. Uh, a lot of the other countries are, are borrowing and spending, and that's part of the problem. I don't believe that they have the political will, or have shown it yet, to deal with the real problems that we in America are going to have to deal with sooner or later. I hope they will, but I, I'm not satisfied that this is a panacea. Last question, Senator, and we need to get to this very quickly. We had an abysmal jobs number last week. I, fairly optimistic beige book today, but the Fed Chair, Chairman Ben Bernanke has left the door open for the possibility of another round of quantitative easing. What would be your reaction to that? Well, I'd be careful because interest rates are as low historically, I guess, as, as they've ever been. And what would be the reason to pump, uh, to make interest rates go lower? Uh, and my gosh, look at them today.